What up, it's your boy NWP, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Maddox RFB and what the best class setup is possible for it. But first, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. So I got a little gameplay here showing off the Maddox RFB with what I feel are the best attachments attachments and loadout that you can run around and uh, use so I'm gonna bring it up on the screen right now and there it is as you can see it's got both uh, fast mags one and two and as well as quick draw because I feel like you know with quick draw and both of those and both of those fast mags you're pretty much able to run and gun on par with anybody uh, be able to sit a head glitch because you still got you know a decent range and control of your weapon but uh, the thing is really animalistic really and uh, It gets some pretty nice plays especially in CQB when you're trying to hip fire. It's pretty nice um, But the auto load that's like that's the key feature here in my opinion the auto load from fast mags 2 is just so intense and makes the gun uh, basically capable of fighting for longer periods of time than any other gun uh, in class. You know what I mean? Like, you could get the big full drum on the KN, but the second that you got to reload that thing, you're pretty much SOL. So, I feel like this one definitely can stay in the fight the longest. Uh, like, so, if, you know, if you're an AR that gets pushed into holding uh, hard points, uh, you know, or playing Dom, you know, like, and you're have to hold the mid area where you're going to need to have some range like that but not like the longest range then yeah i would say that this might be one of the best guns uh you know the, the vapor is probably the best uh you know just a well-rounded gun because it's definitely you know capable of hip fire it's definitely capable of longer range shots um obviously the icr and the uh rampart 17 are both going to be your long range um <clears throat> weaponry in the AR department. Now, I will uh, point out that the three-round burst ARs are under the designated marksman or tactical rifle uh, classification. So, you know, in that regard, you have, you know, technically, technically like two more ARs, but the one kind of functions like an FAL, so the auger could be, you know, mm, I don't know. That one's up for debate. But I'm also using scavenger obviously need to get some bullets and cold-blooded because being off the streaks is just huge now with this one i am currently using ghost but i do like to switch between ghost and dead silence depending on what i'm doing um this time i was just really like switching out to this weapon uh because of the map and i've been going for long shots with the vapor so you know it didn't feel like a map um to get long shots on and the vapor is was done with everything else at the time it's now gold but it was done with all the other challenges so figured i'd get some headshots stuff like that with this gun and uh, work on this one and uh you know it turned out to be a pretty decent gameplay as you know as you know, you can see here though the range on the gun is definitely capable so uh you know with good mine placement and uh Stuff like that. You can definitely get your long shots um, and holding on an area. Get some good gameplays, oddly enough. But as you can see, this gun really excels at moving through the map quickly and using every line of sight to your advantage. Okay, so you do want to use it like an AR as much as possible. Don't use it like, you know, an SMG. But if you do get into situations where you need a really good close quarters weapon when you're already wielding an AR, this is a great option of an AR. I would still probably say the Vapor is uh, a better weapon overall um, and you'll probably see both this and the vapor as the most dominant ARs uh, typically you'll probably see some good uh, campers holding on to the uh, ramparts and stuff like that I love the rampart myself and I ain't afraid to say that I camp because if you're running around and gunning uh, you, you know and dying too much then you know you're not helping the team and uh, nobody cares you know <laughs> no, and nobody wants to lose because you ran around and got you know a thousand deaths trying to be special you know <laughs> so but uh yeah guys um <clears throat> this is the absolute best rampart or uh, not rampart maddox rfb setup that you can possibly use i can almost guarantee that 
as you can see here, I'm just running through people left and right. The gun's capability is on par with any other, um, you know, but uh, obviously the one touch long range is gonna be its weakness. But uh, yeah, it's definitely got close quarters and uh, mid range on lock. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this game and my video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you really enjoy it, share it with a friend. But yeah, I'm going to leave you with two other videos to watch and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.